the JAMA Network. I am Chuck Daubeny, I'm the Chair of the Department of Family Medicine and Community Health at the Problem School of Medicine, University of Pennsylvania. Colorectal cancer is uh, an important public health problem. It's the second leading cause of cancer death in the United States. Uh, we know that screening is effective in reducing the risk of cancer for this disease. Colonoscopy is uh, effective in reducing the risk of colorectal cancer. And what we know from our work as well as others' work is that the quality of colonoscopy varies quite widely across providers. Now this quality is measured by the adenoma detection rate. The objective or goal of the study was to determine uh, if higher detection rate as measured by the adenoma detection rate results in decreased colon cancer risk in the long term as well as risk from dying from colorectal cancer. The study was conducted using a microsimulation model called the microsimulation screening analysis. The model in this case incorporated real-life data from Kaiser Northern California. What was unique about the study was the ability to determine the outcomes of colon cancer incidence as well as death. This allowed us then to uh, incorporate the data into the model and then estimate the outcomes, which were the incidence of colorectal cancer in this population, the risk of dying from colorectal cancer, the costs and the complications. Within this model, we're able to then uh, simulate and estimate the effects of screening colonoscopy on the levels, different levels of adenoma detection rate. The cost of uh, screening was lower at higher detection rate simply because the cost of cancer treatment is very high. This more or less canceled out the increased cost of screening from higher colonoscopy use in the higher detection rate. Bottom line, 